Hi YouTube, it's Lena, and this is going to be a slightly different video because I was looking around at other people's videos and somebody, I think it was Thrifty Beauty, put out a request for videos and somebody suggested that she do the 101, what is it called technically? I wrote it down. 101 goals in 1001 days. I don't know how, exactly how long this is, it's about two and a half years, like a year is 365 days. Two years to 720 days, so that I suck. So I looked it up. It's a, it pops up a lot more on blogs than say on YouTube, but I figured I would do it anyway. And I'm gonna read you my list. I'm gonna tell you some things that I was thinking when I wrote these down. So go grab a drink because this is probably gonna take a while. And I will update periodically, probably every three months, just so I'm not. Try, only talking about like say two things a month or something like that so I figure if I wait every three months I'll still have a lot to talk about so like I said go grab a drink pause maybe grab a snack go grab a go grab your chihuahua to cuddle with and if you don't have a chihuahua go buy one they're awesome mine is glaring at me right now from the couch wondering why I'm not cuddling with him and all right let's get started a lot of these are related to my YouTube channel so a lot of these are going to involve stuff for you guys, which you can only benefit from. Number one, complete four costume makeup looks. So I, th I think that's a really easy goal for me to do in two and a half years. But like, I mean, like, you know how the Iron Man tutorial that I did for Halloween last year? I mean, stuff like that. Enter the NYX Face Awards in 2015. I've been watching somebody that I follow, uh, Bailey Beauty, I think her name is. And she's in like the top 12 right now. And if I made it to the top 30, that would be amazing. I don't think I would, but I want to enter just because you don't know until you try. Complete 10 get ready with me's. Complete 10 tags. I know I can do that. Get to 500 subscribers, which right now I am at 274, so I'm well on my way. Get to 1,000 subscribers, which I would die if actually happened, but I put it on there just in case. Complete 10 movie reviews. Y'all know I do movie reviews from time to time learn the Kardashian contour, not for simply to make my face look like something completely different on a daily basis, but to go along with those costume makeup looks, sometimes I need a much thinner face than I naturally have. So the best I could do with it is to learn that insane contouring techniques that they do. So I'm Project Pan stuff. Uh, finish 24 eyeshadows. This is starting from July 25th, that's the day that I'm filming this, because I'm filming a lot of videos today. So I just, I woke up early enough and I have time. Finished 12 lip products, so that can be a lip gloss, a lip liner, a lip, I don't want to include lip balms with that. Not a lip balm, unless it has color in it. If it has color in it, then I can, it can count, but if it's just a clear lip balm, then it doesn't. So lip gloss, colored lip balms, lipsticks, and lip liners. There we go. Uh, finished three blushes. Finished three bronzers, and I'm almost done with one, so I'm on my way to that. Finished four foundations. Something kind of silly. Uh, subscribe to Birchbox, because I want it. I know it's just a sample thing, but it's only $10 a month, and they have an amazing reward system that I really think is awesome. And that's part of the reason why I want to subscribe, honestly. <laughs> finished 12 books. I can probably finish more than that, but I put 12 on there to be realistic. Travel out of state, and I mean a state that I have not visited before. I don't mean Mississippi. I don't mean Texas, and I live in Louisiana. I don't want to travel necessarily to a neighboring state. I would like to go to, like, Maryland for Washington, D.C., or Washington to try Seattle, something like that. Travel out of country. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this one off. And to be honest with you guys, I'm terrified of the prospect of flying. I've never flown in an airplane before, and that is partly because the mere idea of getting on an airplane makes me want to vomit. So this would definitely be pushing me out of my comfort zone, even though I really would love to travel. Learn to do hair, five hairstyles, because I only know a couple of things to do with my hair. Like right now, it's just pulled back in a bun because it's drying, because I don't blow dry my hair if I don't absolutely have to. Color hair a fun color, and I mean like a color out of the rainbow, like a bright red or green or something. This is a this is a complicated one. Find someone I respect and want to emulate. I've never had a true hero or somebody that I want to be like. Do you know what I mean? I didn't have a lot of great in, in adult influences growing up. 
So I want to find someone. So that's definitely going to be like personal journey style thing. Uh, stick to role playing that I enjoy. I tend to join a lot of role playing games and I don't always enjoy them. So I want to whittle down and figure out which ones I like, like really love. Create a budget, which is not that hard. Stick to it for six months, which is hard as hell. Start a job. Should be easy. I'm starting one soon. Keep job for at least 12 months. A little bit harder. I'm waving an eyeliner at you because I just need something to do with my hand. Uh, save $3,000. Right now I have about $300. i am just going to be flat out honest with you. So I have a tenth of that. And I have little markers in my notebook for $1,000, $2,000, or $3,000. Just so that I can write down the date that I hit each one. Pay off one loan. I have a buttload of school loans out. More than I won't even mention the number of, but if I could pay off one of them, like I have a couple of small ones, if I could pay off one of them, I would be happy. Pay off credit cards. I have about $1,000 on one card and $4,000 on another, and I want to pay that down. Watch 12 old movies I've never seen. Now this can be anything from something from a couple of years ago that was really popular to like I've never seen The Wizard of Oz because I'm apparently a freak. I've seen every horror movie known to man, including some really awful ones, but I've never seen The Wizard of Oz. Priorities. Find an exercise and I, that I like and stick to it three days a week for a month, because I figure once I start, I do it straight for a month, it'll be a habit. Uh, something that should have, a couple of things that should have went with the other finished stuff, but finish four lotions and finish six eyeliners, gel, pencil, whatever. Floss once a day for a month. I suck at flossing. And I hate it because I do it too hard and I make my gums swell up and I'm, I'm a tart at it. So I need to figure out to do it properly. Complete new makeup inventory every three months. So starting from today, three months from now, I would do a new makeup inventory to collect, put out what I put in, what I put out. I would do a video on my current makeup inventory in like the next week. Because I have it all written down. I just haven't filmed a video on it buy a car because I do not own my own car. I have to use my brother-in-law's. Contribute to personal IRA. This will go along once I get started at my job and start getting that going and everything. I want to have some kind of retirement plan going. I know I'm only 28, but I want to be responsible. Create a will. Once again, I know I'm only 28, but even if I just write it down and get somebody to off to put their little stampy thing on it and show my husband where it is. If that's all I do, that's all I do. Prepare emergency kit for house and prepare one for car when I have said car. It just makes me feel more secure, especially since the fact that my freaking house burned down and I live in hurricane territory, in tornado territory on occasion. My dog is barking at the garbage man. Mo, I know it's just a garbage man. You want to come up? Come here, little buddy. Mo will now be joining us so that I can keep an eye on him. Complete three makeup no buy months. So, I, I just, it's a good thing to every once in a while say, no, no, I'm not buying any makeup for a certain amount of time. But I don't want to say I'm not going to buy makeup for a year. I know myself. I will stab somebody in the face. Relearn the guitar. I used to know how to play it. And I stopped for a really long time. And then my guitar burned out in my house fire. So obviously I would have to purchase a new guitar, but if I put the money down to purchase it myself, I'm gonna learn that, relearn that bastard. Take a dance class. I would love to learn how to tango. Uh, do a food diary for one month. Pretty simple. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, not simple. Cut out soda only to restaurant outings. I drink way too much Coke. I am a caffeine addict because I get, I turn into a hissing viper without it. So, I don't want to be like that just because I haven't drunk a Coke that day. Attend a Renaissance Fair. There is one that happens about an hour away every November, so that should not be, be hard. And I've been to it before, and it's really fun. Attend a Comic-Con. Much harder, because they're always so far away from me, it's not even funny. And now I have to convince my husband to go into a place with a crowd, because he has crowd fear. So, we're going to work on that. Add 10 songs per month to music library. One, my hearse burned down, my hearse, my house burned down, my phone burned down with it. A lot of my songs were not on iTunes because I had 
downloaded them over the years, let's just go ahead and say. But, and some of them had been on CDs and stuff like that, and a lot of them just were not backed up, and even if they'd been backed up, the backup would have burned down. So I have a lot of music to eventually replace, so there's that. Purchase a real camera. I say real camera because I film on my phone. It's okay, but I'd rather have a professional camera. Complete one NaNoWriMo. That is the thing where I think it's in October or November you write 50,000 words for a little mini novella. I would love to do one of those. Complete six Pinterest projects. I've already completed two on this channel in conjunction with the Blush Beauty, and I would love to do more. And if, when she does more, that, that, those will count towards it. Uh, create playlist for D&D characters. Kind of a geeky thing to say, but I do play D&D and I love it. And I, sometimes I have a lot of trouble getting into it when I first start, but I figure if I have a playlist that I can blast in my ears for a half an hour beforehand, it'll really help me. Increase fluency in a language so I can hold simple conversation with a native speaker. I know a fair amount of Spanish. I learned it in college. I, I happen to have an ear for learning languages, and I know a teeny tiny amount of Russian. I would like to get one of those to the point where I can speak them in naturally to a, another person, at least hold simple conversations. I'm not going to say I'm going to be fluent in two and a half years and something. I'm saying I want to be able to use it. Hmm. I, I lost my thing. Go back to school. I have a bachelor's degree in history and I have most of a master's. I do not necessarily know what I want to go back to school for. I might finish my master's. I might go get a bachelor's in something else. I was thinking about getting like a teaching degree or maybe just getting a degree in like Russian because it would go along with my Russian history masters that I've almost finished. I don't know. But that par part of that deal would be figuring out what I want to go back to school for and then doing it. Because I hate having this whole I have most of a master's degree hanging over my head because I didn't finish it. Keep up with reading through Goodreads profile. I will link the website to Goodreads down below. It's really neat. Get 10 friends and family pictures and hang them around home. I lost all my pictures in the fire. I have no more so I now have to print out more. Finish decorating my home, because I want to do an apartment tour, but I don't have everything the way I want it yet, so I haven't done it. What are you fussing for? Attend the concert. I have no idea who I'd be attending this with, because my husband would not go to one, but I'll figure it out. Go to a dentist. I have not been to a dentist since I was 16 years old. As I mentioned earlier, I am 28. That is not good. And I have a cavity right here, because my bottom teeth have gaps in them. That's why I need to floss more, too, to keep to get the cavities down. <sighs> Write a letter to myself and open it when I'm 40. I saw this on somebody else's blog and I thought it sounded really neat. Get a tattoo. I love tattoos. I'm afraid of needles. If I can't do it, I can't do it. But I want to design one and really buckle down to decide that I'm going to do it or get this idea out of my head. Write a list of 50 things that make me happy because I'm a naturally kind of pessimistic person. I know I don't necessarily always come across that way on YouTube, but I am. So I think having that around and always where I can look at it when I'm in a bad mood will help me out. Wear a dress or skirt every day for a week. I definitely have enough skirts so that I can do that. Write a love letter to husband. I just think it would be nice. Make apple pie. This Make an apple pie. This is actually, I joked about making an apple pie and my husband really got it in his head that he wanted an apple pie and I never got around to making it. He was all pouty about it. So one of these days, I'm going to make him a damn apple pie. See a play. I haven't seen a play since I was, I think, in college. And I would like to rectify that. Create a care package for an overseas soldier. I do donate to the boxes and stuff that all the stores around here have that they send overseas. You asshole. And you know my husband's going to punch you in the butt when he sees you sitting on his damn mouse pad again, too. He doesn't care. Whatevs. But I want to create, like, a whole care package for one person and figure out how would I send that off. Like, who would I send that through or whatever. Don't let role-playing tags, this is a part of my role-playing thing, sit in inbox for more than two days. Sometimes I get lazy and I don't tag something, and then I realize it's been sitting in my inbox for, like, two weeks. Send handwritten letters for birthdays. Just because signing a card is one thing, and I always appreciate even getting a card or a phone call, but a handwritten letter, 
there's nothing like it, especially now when we just all text and email and all that junk. Uh, no eating out for two weeks, fast food or restaurant. I just want to see if we can do it. Walk Mo every day for a month. He likes walks, so we will do that. Learn to sew so I can hem dresses because I'm short. Everything drags on the floor. So if I can learn to hem dresses and jeans, that would be great. Go to the library once a month. I need to go there initially to pay off my fine, but then I can keep going. Uh, eat 10 things I've never eaten before. I'm a picky eater. Learn to cook five dinners, not including what I already know, obviously. Make five new friends because I'm such a homebody. Volunteer three times. Uh, I don't have a like an amount of hours or anything. I just want to go out and volunteer three times. Like I, I got nieces and nephews in school. I can go work at some of their crap. It doesn't really matter. Visit five museums. I live about an hour away from New Orleans. I know they have museums. Plus, if I get to go on some of these trips that I want to go on, I'm certain we will go to museums on those. Go on honeymoon. I've been married to my husband for over five years. We've never had a honeymoon. That's sad. Drink two bottles of water a day for two weeks. I drink no water. I hate water. I, like, I even get the little flavor packets and I still hate water. So I need to rectify this. Do Christmas cards each year. I don't know if I want to just print off a picture and use that as a Christmas card. You, what? Get out of the way. Can't you jump off that way? You're terrible. This is the cat that burnt his nose in the fire, by the way. And I'm awful to him most of the time. But that's because he's awful to me, too. And stop nuzzling my camera. You knock my camera over, I'm gonna... I'm gonna feed you to somebody! Now he's gone. This cats. I'm gonna kill it. Demon, demon cats. That I love with all my heart, but you're a demon cat, and you're the one that should have been named Mephistopheles. Where was I? I don't know. Oh. Uh, attend Avengers 2 Midnight Premiere. I don't care if I have to go to work at 7 o'clock the next day. I will be there. Leave 15 coupons next to items in store. Just because I think that's a neat idea. Tip someone 100% of the bill. Somebody did that to me once when I was a waitress. Pay for someone's coffee behind me in a Starbucks line. Go on a picnic. I just think that would be cute. Even if it's in my freaking backyard. Do one date night a month, no phones allowed. Because that happens every time somebody texts or an email goes off and, ugh. Learn to draw. Uh, my hands shake, but if I can learn to draw, I would be so happy. Go thrifting and share 15 outfits. I have a video coming up that will be two of those, so I will have 13 more. Donate 50 items to charity. They can be clothes, they can be books, whatever. Organize buy and buy lights for makeup desk until I like it so that I can film at it. Visit a local festival. We have a downtown area that I want to scream at because it feels like every Saturday in the spring and summer they have something going on and you can't go through there with a car. You have to go around it. Maybe one of these times instead of bitching at it, I should actually go to the damn thing. Get to know one neighbor. I live in a real neighborhood now. Where I have neighbors all around me. I should know some of these freaking people. Learn to knit again. This was a big thing for my group of friends in high school. We all learned to knit together. We were weirdos. It's, it's, it's okay. We were weird. And I would like to relearn it because I totally forgot how. Get in touch with two old high school friends. I haven't picked out who yet. And I'm going to keep doing it until I actually get in contact and start talking with two of them again. I might have to do it with more than two people. Save for and buy one designer item. I I can't imagine myself paying four or five hundred dollars for a purse, but if I could do it or like three hundred dollar pair of shoes, I'll do it, and it'll be my money. So my husband can't say crap to me. Okay, and the last two things are check and update list once a month, create new list when complete. So that is it. I'd love to see if any of you guys want to do this with me. Um, I will actually put the date that this will be. I will put the deadline date for this, but down below when I figure it out, because I have to do like look at a calendar and do math, and I, I'm terrible at math. And that is it. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you guys later. Bye.